Hello friends, welcome to CSS tutorial. In this sub-series, we are talking about CSS layout as well as position. In this specific video, we will see how to create a sticky HTML element using the fixed position. Position property can be set with a value fixed. If we do so, the element is given a fixed position. So the position with value fixed frees element from normal flow. It also fixes the position of the element and scrolling does not affect its position in normal flow when you scroll the document the element will move based on the scroll right but in fixed position once the element is given a position it will not change its position so scrolling won't take effect the element becomes sticky to the browser because it's fixed in position and elements become sticky. Now let's see this with an example. Before that, for example, if this is your browser window and if your document is big enough and that goes beyond the browser window, a scroll bar will be provided towards the left to browse through the document. And if there are different elements, say some paragraph and images, when you scroll the document, the element will move up or down based on the scroll position. Right. Using fixed position, it is possible to create a banner and when you scroll the content the banner will not move because its position is fixed all right it is anchored to this particular location and when you uh, when your document moves because of scroll it will be in a fixed position the banner will not move So, in some web pages, uh, you may come across a document which is scrollable and there will be some elements that is fixed to the website. Say for example, this will be the website's top banner and in the left there may be ad or advertisement capsule which will not move when you browse through the uh, content right so let's state that this is fixed position one this is a fixed position two and this is a fixed position three so all these stuffs are considered as sticky to the browser and when you scroll through the display only the content, this document content will move and other stuff will get fixed. So that's the use of fixed position. Useful to create a sticky element like a banner and advertisements. Now let's see an example and here we will be creating a banner using the fixed position. Now let's go to the demo. Here we have a document body, we have a div tag and that contains some text, div tag with some text. Then we have a sample paragraph, right, there are plenty of paragraphs so that the document becomes scrollable. Now let's save the content.
and here you can see the very first one is the div tag and we will convert this as a banner and there are other paragraphs which will become scrollable you see here it is scrollable and this will help us to see uh, how to fix this element in position or how to make this very first text as a sticky text at present it is moving right now let us set some style for all of our paragraph here we are setting border content width padding and top 100 pixel now let's save the content and here you can see there are paragraph that is given a specific width and padding we also set border style and we make the content movable since we want to make this as a banner we need to move the very first paragraph further down we know that this border and uh, uh, box properties uh, occupies space in browser so when we move one element the other will get adjusted now the very first paragraph if you see we kept a class called first so we can keep p dot first and margin top is 90 pixel that means from here we are adding up 90 pixel space we will save the content stop the auto refresh because we want to do scrolling and if you see we added some 90 pixel here because of margin we added only top margin so here 90 pixel is added so this gap is enough for the banner so we already have a class for our div tag Div class equal to fix banner. Now let's provide CSS attributes. So width 90%. So that means here we are giving the width in terms of percentage. So if you resize your browser, in browser width it occupies 90 percentage of width. So the banner will be adjusted based on the browser width so even if you resize the banner will get uh, resized automatically then we are giving padding 20 pixel you know the padding we saw that multiple time in this css course font size we are increasing it to 32 pixel at present this is a smaller in size right if we increase font size that looks decent for the banner then we are giving a kind of gray background color we also set radius for our banner that is 30 pixel on all four corner that means top left top right bottom right and bottom left in all four we are giving a 30 pixel radius let's save the content and reload it here and you can see the banner is uh, positioned in the top but uh, it is under normal flow at this moment because we haven't used any position attribute here so we have to use position and uh, uh, give you a value of fixed then give the coordinate at present if you see this is just like other normal element that's why the banner is moving when we scroll through the content now we will provide the position attribute here if you see we used position as fixed that means the banner will become sticky and here we are providing the anchor location top zero pixel left zero pixel so it will be fixed in the corner and if you scroll the banner will not move at present it is moving right once i save the content i'm doing the save So the content is saved now if i reload 
if you see the banner got fixed to the top left corner now if i move the content the banner will not move but uh, the paragraph elements are moving or the document becomes a scrollable scrollable but banner is not so likewise you can create capsules in the left and the right side and inside the capsule you can put uh, different content it can be your customized image or the about me page or your photo or uh, uh, advertisement capsule all the stuff you can do using the fixed banner so we will also create a shadow for our banner here this is the x offset y pixel y offset offset and spread then background color let's save the content and reload it and you can see how the uh, shadow is applied to the banner so that's all about the fixed position thank you for watching bye